I know what you're thinking. This looks way too simple to be a good habit tracker. Trust me, it's going to work. You haven't achieved your New Year's goals for two reasons. You don't have a good system in place, or if you do have a system, most likely your existing habit tracker is killing your motivation. You might even be using Notion currently for goal setting, habit tracking, and all of that, but it's either too complicated, which is distracting you from doing the important thing that you actually need to do, or it's measuring your progress in a way that's actually hurting your motivation. Either way, this needs fixing, and I'm going to explain in this how it all works. So let me walk you through this New Year, New Me, February, failed New Year's resolutions Notion template. It's pay what you want to download in the description. You can pay $0 completely free if you want. You can pay $500, but please don't pay me $500, uh, especially if your goal is to save money this year. So I'm going to walk you through the Notion template. Before you click away and think, wait, this is way too simple. Where are the widgets? What, why aren't there databases overflowing with rollups, relations, and progress bars? I'll explain that in the walkthrough. So in this video, I'm going to cover how to set goals in Notion, how I track my habits in Notion, creating a mood board in Notion, sharing goals with accountability partners, journaling your habit and goal progress, and creating dashboards for each of your individual goals. Like, subscribe, download the template, subscribe, and make sure you hit the subscribe. Let's get into it. So as you can see, it's super, super simple. Again, this is a good thing, not a bad thing. The number one issue that I see with, uh, with habit trackers and all of that in Notion is at the top, there is a percentage of how much of your goals you're actually doing. This isn't always great. For some people it is, for me personally, it doesn't work. And the reason is that, so let's say on day one of the new year, you go for a run. Now you have 100%, right? Day two, you go for a run. Now you have still 100%. Day three, you miss, and now you have 66%. Day four, let's say you do go for a run, and it goes up to 75%, and then the next day, uh, it drops back down. It's very demotivating to see those numbers fluctuate so much, especially when the drops are so big. So what I think, personally, works is to not see any percentages. You, you can see, like, the total for how much you've done of one of your habits, which you'll see in here. However, you don't want to see the percentages. I find that the percentages really demotivates me. So I'll walk through this template fairly quickly. Again, you can download it for free in the description. Donate if you want, totally up to you. So here I've just filled out the three goals that I'll be doing. However, uh, in the download, it just says um, habit one, habit two, habit three. So the first thing we'll do is look at the resolutions review. It's very simple. There's just a bunch of questions kind of getting to understand why you failed your New Year's resolutions. So um, again, this is just for you. It's more of just kind of a, uh, a a reflection and getting to understand, okay, what is the reason I haven't done it? Is it that I have too many goals? Is it that the goals were asking too much? That That's quite common, really. So a lot of uh, these Notion templates that I've seen are, you know, they have every single day, like 15 check boxes where it's like you, you want to meditate and then you want to drink 14 liters of water and then you want to go for a walk and then you want to do journaling for an hour and then you want to work for 15 hours and then you want to uh, go for a run in the evening and then you want to watch the sunset whilst also watching the sunrise and then you want to, and the list just goes on and on. And you're meant to tick off all of these things throughout the day. And obviously, if you have a list of 10 things to do every single day, whilst like 10 habits to do every single day, while still living a life of, you know, having other responsibilities, you'll most likely miss one or two. So in this one, we're going to be a lot nicer to ourselves. We're going to be more realistic and we're going to have three goals. You can literally just copy and paste this if you want to have more below. However, um, for now, let's just do three. So up here, all we're going to do is write in our goals and then we can see those with images. That's all we're gonna do here. So we'll just drag and drop the images in. This isn't anything special, it's literally just a gallery. Uh, and here we'll write our three kind of goals that we're trying to work on. So for me, it was running, reading, and YouTube. First thing, work through the resolutions review, drag and drop the uh, images here, get a bit of a nicer aesthetic. Um, none of my Notion templates actually focus on aesthetics, which you would think is a bad thing. However, I find just because Notion can do a lot of these like, you know, really nice things where you can make it look really cool with widgets and having a bunch of quotes and images and stuff, it's actually not very good for productivity. You want to have 
the least amount of information possible for your eyes when you open up a dashboard so you can focus on doing the important things. So I'll show you how this calendar works. If you're subscribed to this channel, you might've heard me say before, your day is your to-do list. I really believe that. So instead of seeing this list every day of like 10 things that I have to do, let's just make it easy for myself. Let's make it like achievable. So what we're going to do is scroll up. The information here that we found out from the resolutions review, uh, there, there's a few main points or two main points really that we need to know. How often are we going to do the goal or do the habit that works towards the goal? And how are we going to measure it? They're the only, they're, they're like the main two things that we need to know. So for running, let's say I want to do that three times per week. And then for measurement, you know, I could do uh, hours or minutes or um, kilometers or miles or whatever. I'm going to say for measurement, I want to measure in kilometers. Then for reading, uh, how often, let's say uh, two days per week, I very much struggle with sitting down and reading. So two days seems more achievable then saying, I want to do it every single day, and then it doesn't happen. Uh, and then measurement, it will be in pages. Then for YouTube, how often? Uh, really, I want to post a video weekly, and the measurement will be in uploads. These buttons here are what we're going to then use in this. And then that will add up to these. So we can actually track if we want to how many we've done in total. We're not going to see any percentages because percentages bring us down typically. So, uh, or bring our mood down. So all you do is you press this plus and then you can see this uh, habit one gets added here. We're now just going to drag and drop that here into the calendar. You can see it says habit one, habit one. My habit one is running. So I'm going to change this name to running. You'll see how this becomes super systematized and very easy uh, and customized to you. So for me, it's running. We said that I want to do this three times per week. So I'm just going to hold alt and then hold alt again. And now I have three runnings here. Then what I'm going to do is go up here and press this button here, delete this habit one. And now simply drag and drop running, running and running. And then you hit close. So now what I'll do is at the start of the week, I'll just hit the plus button. And then these three runnings, I'm now going to drag and drop them into what I think will work for my schedule. So let's say, you know what, on Monday, I'm pretty sure I can run uh, on Wednesday. Let's give myself a rest day on Tuesday. And then I think Thursday I'm going out, Friday I'm going out. Let's say I can do it on Saturday morning. So I'm being more realistic on myself. I'm not ticking off every single day that I have to run. And then that percentage goes down. Uh, even if I ran, let's say three times per week, that's pretty good. But if I have it on my checklist here, here, and here, and here, all of a sudden my number is going to be less than 50%, which isn't very fun to see, even though running three times a week is very impressive. So that's how running works. Now, we do maybe want to see how much we run in total this year. That's quite common to want to know, but we kind of want to hide it. We don't want to make it stand out at the very top of the page. 15% of the time you run because that's not very fun to see 15%. We'll click on measurement and say, you know what? I ran three kilometers. I didn't manage my five, but I did three. On Wednesday, I, I did my five, which was good. And then on Saturday, let's say I did two. Then here under habit one, I can actually see the amount of times I've run this year. And I can see the total amount of kilometers. So 10 kilometers. This is a lot easier than seeing a, um, it, it's, it's more motivating in my opinion to see like, okay, cool. I've run 10 kilometers this year so far than seeing, oh, I've only run 2% of the days this year. I know it's kind of like hiding the information from yourself in a way. However, I think that's okay if you're still doing, you know, you're taking positive steps towards actually doing the goals that you want. We'll do the same thing for reading. You'll hit the plus. Habit two will form here. And now we'll just drag and drop that. We'll put that in here. So habit two for me is reading. So now all I'll do is hold alt so I can get two of them because I want to read two days per week. So now I have two of these. I'm going to hit this button up here delete this and drag and drop. Hit close. So now reading, hit plus, and then you have those two there. And now I can see on my schedule, okay, Monday I'm running, I'll probably be really tired. You know what, I might be able to do it on Tuesday. That's quite realistic. And then uh, let's say I do it on Thursday. Again here, measurement, it's in pages. Let's say I read 10 pages that day. And then on Thursday, I read 20 pages. 
Same thing happens here, habit two, I can see these. And then here you press calculate sum and then you'll get the number. So I've read 30 pages in total. Again, it's not a percentages or anything like that. It's a bit more motivating to help you. So you can do the same thing for uh, whatever your third habit is. So let's quickly talk about the accountability partner. It's proven that it really helps when you have goals to have an accountability partner, just someone to kind of stick by your side and actually see if you're progressing and yada, yada. So here, what you can do is uh, you can write all your goals. So, you know, for me, running, reading, blah, blah, blah. So if I do not do, let's say, if I do not run three times per week, then I will, let's say, send you $5, whoever I share this page with. So all you do is you press share up here and then you can share that to a friend. They can then see, because this is connected, it's the same, uh, it's the same calendar. They can then see if you're actually doing your habits. One quick thing that I forgot to mention is in your calendar here, after you've run, this is what I do. You know, when you have like on a piece of paper, your to-do list, and it feels really nice to like check something off. It's the same idea here. You'll change this uh, red emoji here just to a check emoji. And then you can see that you've done it. So you'll do the same thing when you complete a task. Say if you don't complete a task, obviously you don't want to have it in here because you didn't actually run on Saturday, let's say. All you'll do is delete it and then it won't be in this list and it won't be in the uh, your accountability buddy can see that it's not here. You didn't actually run three times this week. Everything's connected, which makes things easier. That's the accountability partner. Then we have mood board. Honestly, this doesn't need too much explaining. It's literally just a, uh, a gallery. However, it is connected to other pages. So I'll show you how this works. I'll just drag and drop an image in here. So once that image gets dropped in, you can see it here. You'll do same the same thing with others. And what you'll do is for the habit, you can select which habit that it belongs to. So I've actually done this one as a multi-select because you, know, you might have an image that relates to a, a few different of your goals. Uh, so we'll say this is a habit one. This mood board is actually connected to these dashboards. Each of your goals have their own dashboard. So it's really useful to have one place for each of your goals to kind of, you know, you can add all your notes, let's say, you know, so for me, this would be running notes. I might have videos. I might have uh, progress pictures of myself, you know, all of this kind of stuff that you might want to compile into the one place. You can track that all in here. So if your goal is to, you know, learn a language or whatever. So instead of then taking notes on a separate app, you would do this all in the one place. So here I can see that I ran on Monday and ran on Wednesday. And then here is the mood board only showing images relating to habit one, habit one being uh, running. That's a super easy way to do it. You kind of build up uh, this one dashboard for just this one goal. So if I want to have, you know, my progress pictures and the videos and lessons, all of that stuff, like I would build out a dashboard um, with all this information. Now you're building out the dashboard with that information, but also the days you're actually doing it. If you want, you could even write the notes on that actual day, things I learned today, blah, blah, blah. Another thing I used to do for running is now that I've recently moved, I haven't done it, but for the old place that I lived at, I actually had all the different tracks that I would run. So all the streets and all the different routes I would take. And then I could see all the different uh, kilometers and lengths that I would run. That way I could track my progress on how fast I run each of those tracks. So you could do a similar thing, just an idea. The best thing about Notion is you can be as creative as you want. We've Let's quickly just talk about what we've talked about. This, this is just images, just so you know, you know, quickly, these are my goals at the moment. Running, reading, YouTube. Here, all your habits, you just hit plus. And then you simply drag and drop. Okay, I'm going to run. Let's go to the next month. I'm going to run next week on the Monday and the Wednesday. And then I had this on the Friday. So let's move that to uh, next Friday. And it's that easy. And then measurement. Let's say I ran 10 kilometers. I did great that day. You'll see that appear here that I ran 10 kilometers that day. And it gets all added up. So it's... It's a great system to use. Again, you're not seeing any percentages. I really wanted to avoid all these percentages and all of this extra piece of information and data. The best thing about Notion is that you can be as creative and like, you know, make all these really complex things. However, a lot of the time, the more complex you make it, the more difficult it is to use and the less likely you are to use it. On the Sunday, okay, I'm gonna plan out my week. 
I'm going to run on this day, this day, this day. I'm going to read on this day, this day, and I'm going to post my YouTube video on the Saturday. Cool. Now I've got my entire week planned. It's very realistic. I'm not asking myself to do 10 things every single day and then seeing a number get smaller and smaller. And then by February, I've given up on my goal. Last thing to talk about is goal journaling. You might actually want to like journal how you're progressing with your goals. So what I've done is it's, it's just an extra thing I thought I could add on. So it's just a simple database, but I've actually made a template. So when you hit new here, hit review, you get this questionnaire uh, just with a few questions. Again, you can edit this if you want. It's super easy to edit. Uh, all you would do is go up here under review, click that and click edit, and then you can start editing these questions. Here we have, uh, it gets automatically generated. So these are some of the questions that I thought could be helpful at the end of each week, just a review. So let's say this week was amazing. Emoji, let's go with a star. Uh, and did I achieve all my habits that I set this week? Yes, it went great. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, if yes, what helped me achieve them? Had a really realistic goal for once. So it's just kind of a journal. Uh, you can just go through, do that however often you want. But I think it's journaling is obviously great. If you don't journal, I highly recommend it. So I thought goal journaling could be a nice add on to have in this. Uh, in this dashboard. I hope you like this video. I know this is a super simple template, but that's actually the benefit. So I hope you agree and, and see the benefit of making something a lot more simple and uh, being easier on yourself, not giving yourself 10 things you have to do every day. Whilst, you know, you still have a life with other stuff, like either work or school or whatever it is. So to ask yourself to do 10 extra things every single day that are all like new habits and forming them, that takes time. That's very difficult. And then seeing a percentage or seeing, you know, all these bar graphs and, and progress charts get worse and worse every single day. That, that I think that could be one of the reasons that, you know, we're failing our goals. Being easier on ourselves, being more realistic. I want to run three days. I want to read two days or four days or whatever it is. I want to learn a new recipe once a week. Not every single day I'm going to spend an hour looking up recipes. This is just a lot more achievable. It's a lot more simple. And, um, yeah, so best of luck with your New Year's resolutions attempt to. Uh, I really hope you achieve them. Let me know how you go down in the comments. I want to hear, has this actually helped you achieve your goals? Like, is this new template actually working for you? If it is, I would love to hear it in your comment. If it's not working, don't comment anything. Thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe. And the template is down below. Again, it's free if you want to pay me if you want. If not, it's free.